Hi, this is James. Just an update on our Delta Pro. We've been running it now for about three weeks. Um, the previous update, we just showed you how we have our EcoFlow Delta Pro installed in a, in a bunk room um, in our RV. And um, we have the, the various cables basically just going out through a window at the moment. Don't want to drill any holes or anything. Um, so the 30 amp is basically coming straight through from the, the RV for shore power and into the Delta Pro itself into the 30 amp socket. Um, we have an AC cable here which is actually connected to the generator. We have a gas generator outside just in case on those really cloudy days where the, the Delta Pro is just not quite doing it for us. Um, and of course uh, Beside that, the, the black cable there is the XT60, um, which is uh, the cable that comes with the Delta Pro, um, where our solar input is basically flowing through. So nothing particularly fancy here. Um, as mentioned on previous videos, you were not out to, you know, do fancy schmancy stuff. Um, this is a practical application for those of you who may want to consider adding a, um, a Delta Pro or similar similar uh, solar generator um, to your your camping package um, or off-grid package um, keeping things simple is, is where it's at so that is essentially unmoved from where it was in our last update not likely to move anytime soon as we move into winter and i'll talk about our um, other bits and pieces in just one moment right it's probably a little difficult to see um, <laughs> because it is autumn fall here and we're getting a lot of leaves coming off the the trees but just at the back of the rv we have our generator here there's a cable on the ground and that's that's the cord which is uh connected to the ac on the delta pro um, so far we have not had to use this the delta pro um, has 3.6 kilowatt hours of battery capacity from 100 to zero um, in the actual base unit um, and so far, I think the lowest we've actually gotten it uh, is down to about 46%, and that's because we had a, a cold night last night and we're, you know, we're using a few more appliances and things than we would normally do. Um, so yeah, so far it's been, been uh, pretty good. Um, so we've run the generator up once. Uh, it'll max out at 1600 watts going into the Delta Pro. The idea behind the Delta Pro's fast charging is it's supposed to be combined with uh, with our solar as well to you know to give you a, a higher capacity recharge um, over a short period of time but we we haven't had to do that and uh, the one time that we did test the generator out it worked uh, pretty well okay this is the same bunk room window that we just have the cables coming through the xt60 the ac the orange ac cable and the the 30 amp shore power from the rv itself coming through there um, and the the bodgy DIY weatherproofing. Um, we had a fairly heavy rain and uh, I found that the, the seals that I had in place were not quite as good as I thought. So uh, just had a little bit of duct tape there just to keep things going. So nothing really, really special. I will add, you know, why not permanently install this? And the reason for that is that we have a machine shed that our full actual real solar rig will be going into. Um, we see the Delta Pro is something that uh, well, you could easily use it for long, longer term um, purposes. For our own purposes, it's it's got a limited shelf life before we repurpose it for something else. So that's how that actually extends. Um, over here we have our solar array, solar arrays, plural. These are wired up in series and parallel. They are uh, not expensive panels, I guess, but uh, you can certainly get get cheaper though. Um, my my general budget for for solar panels is is you know usually you're paying about a dollar per per watt capacity. So if you pay less than that, great. Um, but because we were new to solar, I didn't want to didn't want to kind of play around with a larger panel straight out of the gate, particularly with the minimum commitment of purchase for a lot of them. Um, so we ended up with, with eco-worthy panels, just what I decided to, to take a punt on. And so far, actually, they've been really good. 
So these are 195 watt panels, four of them in, in each array. Another array over there. Not a, not a perfect arrangement. We haven't really optimized these yet. Um, as you can see, possibly over there, the shadow from the machine shed here doesn't actually fall on that on that array. It looks like it might, but it, so far it hasn't. We are coming into winter. This is um, 19th of October, so you know the the arc of the sun is is certainly down, and our number of hours are, are down as a result as well. Um, in fact, if I can bring this around, it's kind of hard to see. But we have a lot of trees here and the sun kind of arcs in behind them. So short of actually clearing the tree line, we're, we're kind of limited a little bit in terms of what we can do for now. Um, but have, we've only been here three weeks, so you know, there, there's a lot to do. Um, and certainly other places that we can mount these at. Um, but I didn't wanna, again, I wanted to reiterate that we are new to this. This is just um, the results of uh, a lot of reading and research online and then effectively realizing we just had to make a decision and, and take a leap of faith. Uh, so this is the second panel here. So they're connected in parallel. Um, each of these arrays is effectively 780 watts maximum capacity um, for a total of, let's call it 1600 watts for both arrays. The reality of it is that when you wire these up in parallel, the combined amperage of these two arrays is actually a little more than what the um, the EcoFlow Delta Pro will actually pull. So the, the XT60i cable on the Delta Pro will pull a maximum of 15 amps, uh, whereas I believe there's somewhere around uh, 20 amps going through the cable at the moment, close enough to. So there is wastage. Um, even, if we're, even if we were, not that you likely would unless we were in super peak sun, even if we were actually getting 1600 watts out of these or close enough to for these these panels um, because of the the loss um, at the Delta Pro end in terms of its ability to, to pull power um, being capped at 15 amps, the most we can get is basically 1200 watts with this, this array. Um, we can improve that. If I, I can actually have, um, without exceeding any voltage, I can have for these particular panels up to seven of them linked in series. So we could certainly add three more panels to each of these arrays. Um, and, you know, that would bump the total array up quite quite considerably. Um, six panels at 200, it's another, <laughs> close enough to another 1200 watts. Um, and and that, would, that would certainly um, bring the, bring, the production closer to you know to to what we actually might want further down the line. Um, again, that's that's over paneling. Um, my take on it at the moment is that generally throughout the day, and we're getting we're getting four hours to five hours at the moment of of pretty decent sun, and we're actually pulling anywhere from about 500 watts to 650 watts off this, this current configuration per hour there. Um, and our power consumption is relatively modest. Uh, we have some laptops for work, um, some bits and pieces that, that we basically want to use. But because we have a fifth wheel, and most of the stuff that we use for lights and the like is all 12 volt, runs off the 12 volt. Our heating runs off the 12 volt and propane. We're using propane for a lot of stuff. If we have excess power, we'll plug the refrigerator in and that pulls about 300 watts per hour, um, which on our, you know, our per hour at the moment, that's, that's a fairly big hit. We haven't had to do that much, but when our battery's full and we have excess power, we just put the fridge on and it takes a bit of, bit of stress release off, off the propane. But that is essentially our, our current solar rig. And that's what's driving solar PV to the, to the Delta Pro. Um, and as I said at the moment, with the wind and arc, and this is not, not optimised at all, um, barely optimised, um, we, we're still pulling probably an average of about, um, probably about 2,000 watts per day, easily on this, on this current configuration. It'll be interesting to see what happens as we kind of get deeper into winter as to whether that, that remains the case. Um, we probably will have to do some optimization, and I'm quite sure that we're going to get some cloudy days where we do have to fire up the generator. But you know, 
quite honestly, this is way more power than we actually need at the moment. But not what we're going to go for in the, in the uh, long run. Anyway, that is a, a brief update on our solar array slash uh, Delta Pro configuration. Uh, for those that are interested, dollars and cents wise, I think we paid about three and a half thousand for the Delta Pro. Um, these panels are roughly $180 each. So we have eight of them. So, and we also have the ground mount kits that, that come with them. So I would call that about $2,000. Um, we've got some, some timber that we basically purchased to, you know, provide a little more stability, but that doesn't, that doesn't really add an awful lot more to it. Um, the cables themselves, yep, you can pay a reasonable amount for those. Um, we currently have a 50 foot cable. Uh, running out from the from the bunk room to here and then I've got a couple of 10 10 foot lengths um, that just make up the difference in a wire connector so quite honestly probably about hundred dollars worth of cables there max and uh, and our connectors so that again kind of falls into the two two thousand two thousand dollar kit I'd say all up no more than um, no more than uh, six thousand dollars US for this entire rig but in reality it's it's probably more like five and a half for this, uh, which is not bad, um, and you know we can we can detach the, these arrays and and point them in, in different places if we need to further down the line. If we get something like a little Delta Two, one of the new new Delta Twos for smaller around the place movement, it's easy enough to do that just by pulling the pulling the connectors, and we still get power going to the Delta Pro. Life is life is good. Um, so yeah, so that that should give you a give you a rough idea. Um, Worst case scenario is is not what we originally planned, but worst worst case scenario is is how we're, we're kind of running things at the moment. We figure if we're able to live comfortably without giving up too many luxuries, if if any at all, um, off what we currently have here, and the the current Delta Flow uh, Delta Pro unit, EcoFlow Delta Delta Pro unit, without even having to resort to an additional um, expansion battery, then we're actually in a pretty good place. Um, obviously summer will be a whole different proposition because you have to consider air conditioning and, and, and cooling but um, we've got some time to work that out with with what we have planned for the machine room and certainly a much much larger solar build out um, so all in all very 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 happy with this and it's very very simple to put together um, if anyone has any questions or comments uh, any further information that we can provide then please feel free to leave that in the in the comments below and any questions you may have, and we're more than happy to answer those for you. Um, a lot of people are doing this. It's, it, is a, it, is a, it, is, it is pretty slick. Um, it's definitely affordable, and it, it's definitely easy to do. And it keeps everything running. Which is a good thing. All right, um, I'll finish up there. I may do some more um, some more updates on this as well, with a little more uh, math, hard math behind it, and we'll talk about you know how we we actually look at solar and amortize it and all those uh, good things that you you probably want to, want to think about. Um, one last parting point on this is that this all constitutes um, solar installation and costs that are eligible for uh, tax credits here in the states i believe that's 26 percent in 2022 so while, while i suggested that we paid maybe six thousand dollars for this entire kit um the reality the reality of that is that we, we will be submitting paperwork with our tax returns next year and um and the cost of this is going to be 20 26 percent cheaper because that will offset uh, offset um income made and we'll get taxes back on that so all good um or win isn't that right Kira she is loving being a woodland dog all right take care everyone have a great day I uh, hope you enjoyed the video